forget to like comment and share with all your friends as well and in case if you are visiting my channel for the first time don't forget to subscribe as well and to hit that bell icon as well good morning so in this video tutorial of mini tab i will be covering the hypothesis testing and in particular i will be covering the one sample t test so let's take an example here so we have a serial manufacturer who wants to determine whether the box filling process is on target or not the target fill weight given is around 65 and we the manufacturer need to determine whether the main weight for the packaging process different significantly from the target main weight of 365 or not so we will state our null hypothesis accordingly so a null hypothesis would be h naught that is your average mean weight is equal to the 365 or target mean and alternate will be that mu is not equal to 365 that is either less than 65 or more than 365 so we will use the one sample t test here to determine whether the mu that is the population mean is equal to the hypothesis mean or not so let us go to the data here go to window click on data here this is the data what we have we you can have more data but as of as of now I've, for example i have taken this six readings so we will go to stats basic stats one sample t test since our all the data are in single column so we will select this one first option here we will select this option and click on perform hypothesis test here we need to enter the hypothesis mean so in our case it was 30 365 three, six, five. under options so here you are specifying your confidence interval as 95 and your alternate hypothesis was that your mean is not equal to hypothesis mean if we have if the query was was the mean less than or greater than then your alternate would happen different but in this case the query was that is different different could have been it includes both your less than and greater than 65 we select this option here no need for graph as of now so we'll click ok this is the output which uh, main type has given us so you can see that uh, here your we are tested for 365 is not equal to this mean is not equal to the target mean number it shows the number of sample 366 is the mean with standard mean of 0.981 and p value of 0.143 here so from this data uh, what will we infer that your p value is coming out as 0.143 and your uh, the testing decision will be based on that if, if p is less than or equal to alpha alpha is your uh, 0.05 in this case for 95 percent confidence interval uh, it is p is greater than 0.05 so we will reject the h naught so h naught was that mu is equal to 365 so we can see that the, the mean which is coming out is 366 that means it is not uh equal to 365 it is greater than 365 in this case right so what next so we will now check for the normality okay so we will go to stats basic stats go to normality test here you need to specify the data what you do you test and uh, there are different basically three tests for normality here Anderson Darling, Ryan Joner, and the th third one. So you can normally the we select the Anderson Darling test for normality. Click here and OK. So this this is the graph which comes up, which shows the no probability plot of a data. Now from the that probability plot you can see that the p value is coming out as 0 0.599 that assess that uh, the data is normal since it is greater than 0 0.005 and you can see that the points are closely hugging the central uh, red line 
normal line now let's go to stat again stats basic stats one sample t under graphs you can click the individual value plot here now if you plot this graph you will see uh, this is basically a dot plot and uh, this case if you can imagine that uh, so from this individual value plot uh, you can see that the middle tick mark labeled by x man that is your mean uh, and there's a red circle as well as that represent your hypothesis mean of the 65 now you can see the 95 percent of the confidence interval uh, the mean process mean is at least 364 right and at 369.2 this is your entire 95% interval conference interval. So you will use the conference interval to test the null hypothesis here. If your H0 is outside the interval, which is not in our case, which is falling within this case. So you cannot reject the null hypothesis at 0 0.05 since H0 is inside the interval here. Because it's not false within the confidence interval, you cannot reject the null hypothesis. Not enough evidence is available to conclude that that a mu is different from target mean of 65 at 0, 0.0 significance level. So that is all I have for one sample t-test on hypothesis mean. Uh, in case if you like this video do give the thumbs up and do give your comments as well and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel thank you